Hi guys, my name is Noor and welcome on my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video on booktube and I'm very excited to start my channel. For my first video I want to make my June TBR. I'm participating in the Make Your Myth Faker readathon. This readathon is hosted by A Frolic Through Fiction and Beige Page. I hope I say the names correctly. And the readathon is about um, reading books so you can make your own mythical character. I chose the path of sorcerer and I want to become a goddess. I thought I saw the name goddess and I saw like the character they use and I was like, yeah, I, I, I want to choose that path. That's like something I want to do. I put the link to the video uh, for more information about the readathon down below. So let's start with the books. So the first prompt of this uh, readathon is to read a book with a non-human main character and for the first prompt I chose The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. I hope I say her name correctly and I have the Dutch copy from my local library. This is a book about a girl who there's like a world full of vampires and she becomes one and she thinks that's a challenge but then she falls in love with a with a human and that's like when the real challenge begins. I heard uh, some good reviews about this on Goodreads. It had a really high rating. So I was like, yeah, for this readathon, it seemed fun to read this book and it's part of a trilogy. So I'm very excited to read this book. Then the second prompt for the readathon is to read a book with a foiled cover. I had such a hard time finding a book with a foil cover that really intrigued me to read because I was already reading The Cruel Prince during uh, May so it was a bit, yeah, it was a bit hard to find a book that was like, yeah, I want to read that for June but I found a book, a book that I haven't heard a lot of things about on book two, but I'm very excited to read it it's The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth, if I say it correctly, hopefully I'll insert a picture of it. I have the ebook of that and that's about two sisters that go into a different world from our world and they're like uh, mystical creatures there and then they go back to our world and it's a, actually the story is about how they act after being in a world with like different creatures because when they go back to our world everything is the same but they changed. It's actually a story about loss and how they try to go back to that world and how they can adapt back in this world. So it seems very intriguing, but they said it's also a bit of a sad book. So yeah, I'm very excited to read it and to give my opinion on it, I guess. <laughs> so the third prompt is to read your highest rated book on your uh, list on Goodreads and my highest rated book was actually Crooked Kingdom but I haven't read Six of Crows yet I still want to read it but I haven't read this like the first book so I can't read the sequel so I went one book down and that was The Nightingale by Christine Hanna it's about the world war and about women in the world war I don't really know a lot about this story but I want to go in blind especially um, Especially with stories about the world war, I like to go in blind and um, yeah, learn as I read. That's like more what I want. But I heard really good things about this book and of course there's the reason why it's the highest rated one on Goodreads. So very excited for this book too. And then the last prompt, the fourth prompt, is to read a book by randomizing your to be art list. So for the fourth prompt, I went to Goodreads, looked how many books I had on my TBR, put that amount in a number generator and then had it, I, they picked out a number and I looked what book was on that number and it was Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schult. I don't really know a lot about this book either. It had some good reviews, it had some meh reviews. So I'm very excited. It's about for yeah for dead queens and two other people are involved and they think they've done it and they have to like run away something like that i think i hope <laughs> um if i'm not correct you can say it <laughs> um yeah so that's the fourth uh book of this readathon 
I'm very excited to participate in this readathon and I will hopefully vlog every week because it's like the full length of June so I hope to vlog it um, and then I have two other books that are extras on my TBR um, that I hope to read in June but yeah if I'm not getting to it it's no big deal uh, so the first book is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell I have the Dutch copy from my local library uh, and this is quite like the title itself says it's quite a dark book it's about a woman who had a relationship with a teacher when she was younger and now another student an old student of that teacher is saying she got uh, physically abused by him um, and now she is like reflecting everything back she was like yeah is it really was my relationship with him like really love or was it something else and now she is realizing something wasn't correct about her relationship with that teacher um people say it's a book that is quite heavy to read it's quite emotional there are some trigger warnings so if you want to read this book be aware of that and then for my last book on my tbr for june it's this one <laughs> it's we were liars from E. Lockhart. I again have the Dutch copy. I read Dutch and English by the way, just saying, <laughs> make that clear. Uh, so this is by E. Lockhart and it's a book about rich teenagers on an island. Something happens, say no more to me because I am intrigued. Whenever it goes about islands or mountains, woods with young people, I love it. I want to read it. I heard mixed reviews about this. This is quite an older book. It was really hyped in the beginning of booktube, but now I don't really hear hear a lot of things about it anymore. But I'm still very intrigued to read it. I think I use the word intrigued quite a lot this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to read this book. Before I close this video, I also want to mention two new bookmarks I got by basically Brit. This she is called on YouTube. Uh, basically, she's a booktuber. She's from the Netherlands, but she makes English videos. Um, and I always wanted to order some bookmarks from her. But now recently she uh, had a new, um, she put some new stuff on her Etsy store. And also two new bookmarks. And I was like, yes, I really want them. So the first bookmark is this one. It's with books. I think it's really, really cute. And then the second one says Stay Wild Moonchild and it has like reflective gold. It's like, oh, with the moons and the stars. Uh, I really love stars, like I have stars in my ears and on my neck. So I really like it. And she has an amazing Etsy store. I really recommend you looking at it. She is very passionate about her Etsy store. The delivery was so quick, so yeah. Really, go go ahead and look at her story. Well, that was it for my June TBR. I hope you guys really enjoyed my first video. It was very exciting to make this video. I'm still a bit nervous talking to a camera, nervous for the reactions I will get. But for whoever watches this video, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want and hopefully I can reply on it. It would mean so much to me. Um, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!